Hey everyone, it is Silly Man here. Today I will be showing you how to create a conveyor in Roblox Studio that will push players that go on top of it. So I'm going to start by inserting a part into the workspace and then resizing it. So I'll do 10 by 30 for the size of the block and then make sure that it is anchored. Otherwise the conveyor won't work. And I'm just going to call this conveyor. And I also want to add some arrows on top of it as many obbies have it like that. So to do that, go over to the conveyor in the Explorer, insert object, then insert a texture. And for the texture ID, I'm just going to use one that I created. I will also put it in the description so that you can use it. And as you can see, okay, so it was coming here. Make sure that the face is set to the top. That way it shows up on top. So right now the arrows aren't really facing the way we want it. So to fix this, I'm going to change uh, these properties here to the width of the conveyor. So that's 10 studs. So change both of these to 10. Okay, let's actually change the size here. Let's do 10 here and then 30 here. Okay, so that looks a little bit better. I'm going to make uh, these arrows a little bit smaller though. So let's change one of these to 2 maybe. Maybe 4. Okay, that looks good. Uh, so if you want to fix this arrow here, it's like only half visible. You can just change the size of this. So let's do 32. So 32 is a multiple of four, so that way it will fit perfectly. All right, so now let's uh, make the conveyor actually push the player. So to do that, we click on the conveyor and then go to this property called assembly linear velocity. So this will allow us to adjust the speed at which it will move the player. So we want the player to be moved in this direction. Now, it's kind of hard to tell which way that is, uh, which numbers of these to change. So it's either going to be uh, the first number here or the last number. So I'm going to change one of these to 20. So let's change the first number to 20 and then hit play. Let's see if it moves us in the right direction. All right, so as you can see, it is kind of pushing me this way instead of that way. So that is the wrong axis. So let's do 0, 0, 20. And as you can see, now it works. Now, if it was pushing you this way instead, then what you would do is change this to negative 20, and that way it will work uh, correctly. So that is going to be it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, and I will see you all in the next video.